chickens welcome back to my channel uh it's angela of course here with another little video for you and today i'm very happy to say that i really made sure that i made a big tick next to finish and do a flip through of my letters from a lady journal so that's what i have here for you today i ha it's been a long time coming and i just got waylaid with all sorts of commitments but today, this weekend, I decided, no, I've got to sort this one out. I've got no more shelving space um, to place my uh, garden story journal on now. So that's a no-no for me. It's got to have its slot so that I can maintain order in my life. <laughs> right. Um, so here it is. I love putting this journal together. I love the colors and everything. And had such a lot of good feedback from all of you. And lots of people asking me questions about this, where this goes and that goes. And I thought, well, today's the day. Right, so here it is. We have made a lot of this together, most of it really. I've just got my little bits and pieces that I've added. I've made a little um, dangle tassel here. So that's the normal way I do it. And I've got videos on how I do that. I'll make sure I add those to the playlist in case you wanted to know. Just use the bits that come with the ribbon, lace bundles and, you know, this lovely eyelash trim and everything like that. So in the standard way, we did the cover together. This is the closure that's part of the ribbon. All the fabric, the lace and the ribbon and the flowers are all part of um, items from either the ultimate bundles or, of course, from my website shop. So that's it. The digitals I've used are called Letters from a Lady, as you know, and those are also available in my website shop or my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's have a look at what I did. So we've got this. It's a chunky monkey. I'm not going to lie. Look at that. I made a four inch spine, four inches. And there's the tassel. Um, that's 10 centimeters. Okay, it is six and a half inches across. So that's, I think, 16 and a half centimeters. And nine inches this way, which is 23 centimeters. There or thereabouts. Okay, so I'm not going to go and pull out every single piece that I've made, but you will remember the bits that we did together. And I really like doing this bit because it's like a walk through, um, like a walk down, I should say, memory lane of all the things we did together. So there we go. Right, I'm going to undo the closure. I've used large um, We Are Memory Keeper uh Highlights, I was going to say brads, eyelets uh, to go in there, so, uh, both sides. And this is what we have. So um, Karen asked me, I think a day or two ago, what I did with the little lady's purse that I made. So Karen, this is just for you. I put this project, which was the lady's purse, into a little lace pocket here. So this is the pink flat lace that came in the lace bundle. I've put that there and I've just had a little snippet of this over and I thought I would just decorate it and make it um, quite Victorian looking really. <laughs> Lace is better than paper here because it's got a little bit of give. So that's what I've done there. I have used the, the spotted pages with all the little snippets of ladies letters that I had. So that's from the background pages with the pink faded distress spots. I've put that on the cover there front and back and then in the middle I've used the distressed polka dots in the pink to go there all right so that's what I've done I have got this tucks into the little pocket here and that's housed beautifully in there there was just no space in this journal it is full right so let's have a look that's our front page Oh, I've got a little pearl over there that's fallen off somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I'll find it. Um, so we've got a, a front page, and then that's the second page. We've got this gorgeous project that we did with the big tags at the back here. I love this one. Yeah, that was very similar to the Floral Folly project I did in that journal. Right, so it was a wrap around, that's right. And we've got a little bits there and love that project. Great in any theme. Um, there's our little typewriter page. We did our corset pocket and that freebies in the um, Facebook group. So you can get that there. Well, it's also part of the 
printed out kit for templates if you're interested we added in our letters from a lady book pages and i love those um love this page as well nice peachy tones with the pink which is so pretty um and then this is what i've added just a couple of scraps that i have over i like to use the scraps so i've just sort of sat here last night watching Rachel's video sticking these together and then I've just sewn them just for a bit of added interest then I had a lot of die cuts remaining from this project and I've just stuck one on there with a, a butterfly and I've got a, a video as well how I make these page edge decorations okay so we did this lovely project it's got all these beautiful tags that we added to it we made these um this is three pocket project these are all in the playlist so you can find them there and we put one of these in each, each signature so here's just what we did with leftover envelope bits tuck spots there um, and we decorated those up these are the little envelopes that i've added they come with the add-on kit all i've done here is let me just take this off i've made a hidden paper clip this paper clip does come off okay I've stuck in another the little envelope. <laughs> you can put anything in there. I've added a little flower, a little scrap of fabric, and I've added lace to the edge of that page, which is the same one that's lining the, the journal here. All right, so I just thought that looked really lovely. And um, didn't let I faced it the other way instead of having this edge facing here. Um, and then we've got a writing page, so this goes over like that. I've used this as a tuck spot, this flap, and then needed to keep it all closed. So I have just made a hidden paper clip and put a flower on it. So there we go. All right, so that's what I did with both of the envelopes. Here's another project we did together with the lovely tags and everything. I, it was an altered envelope. It was great. And we've got other bits that go in there uh added in the the pocket so these are the triangular pockets i've just um stenciled a little bit of rose uh, well it's a rose stencil with, with no particular make and then this is just i've stamped this it's on some pink parchment and then just a tag that i've put in there a little bit of lace on that triangular pocket and just a snippet of um piece of lace and a flower so I do like to decorate them up so I've just put that in there there's that gorgeous page love that lady at her desk this is the freebie that we did it was a folio and if you uh, if you remember um, we did the folio and I gave you the freebie and then um, this comes out and it lifts up you've got your little pockets at the back there a tuck spot and your little notebook comes out like that all right and you can add some notes in there so that's what that was um here is the other side of that cream background page that i like to use and we folded that over i've just taken one of the pages that i had remaining stuck on a piece there um and stuck on some lace because this is a, a lady's um, letters from a lady and sort of quite Victorian or Edwardian I should say um, I wanted to add a lot of lace and whatever was left I've used so there's just a journal card which I've stuck in there um, the lovely ink pot page again I've just put some lace on there um, just used up all the bits as I said and another one of those little book pages that's the collage page um, over here we did this little insert which you remember I moved from the edge to the middle so we did this and I love these because these keep the, the sort of little envelope flaps closed so if I just get the velcro dots up here we've got little tags that go in in here uh, those close up and then I've just used our journal cards to go into the front pocket this was a lovely project to do and great for any theme I love all the flowers in here so yeah lots of writing space on all these little bits so we've got another book page 
some more lace I've added there that came with the bundle and then this was the other short piece of that cream page I just showed you which was over here so that's the other side of it where you had the short piece and I've just taken the mini um, page with the writing and I will say that I glued it upside down but don't tell anyone all right <laughs> and then I just stuck lace um, from that bundle over there and I like how that's come out because it's a really nice double-sided writing spot okay added some more page ed decoration with bits that I had remaining this is a nice avocado page and then we did one of these with a template there's lots of hidden writing spots here and i love how this turned out then on this page i just added some more of the lace that i had over there and i like how it peeks over a nice writing page there and again we did these little envelopes together and we've laid them up there with the doily if you remember we did that and then again i've used another one of the triangular envelope, um, envelope pockets so i put uh, one of the patterned floral ones in each signature and one of the um, looks like the, the same paper as what what's on here okay and I've just added in a mini page really and cut it in half I've backed it onto avocado paper and then just stenciled over there yeah so yeah, we've got a bit of lace on there. Just put that the wrong way around. And those circles from the add-on kit. These are all just bits that were remaining in my box when I, and I like to use them all up. So we've got that page there, a book page. We've got the little library cards here. Um, and then I've just taken some tags and put it into the library card stuck this behind and added some of the sentiments because I do like the sentiments so that's that here's one of our fabric and um, other rectangular pockets that we had we made this before so that's part of the projects that we've made together really love how that came out with a seal there wax seal and then again I've just added a little page edge decoration with a fussy cut flower or well, die cut flower and a little sentiment. I'm excited because I've just had Amazon deliver my scanning cut, which I <laughs> ordered. Oh, and I can't unbox it because I had to get this video done. So we will be doing that afterwards. So no more sore hands. I'm so excited. Right, that's the end of that first signature. And I love that picture. Right, so the second one. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There are about 100 pages front and back here. So we've got this page and then again another one of these little folios this is the freebie folio that i have put in there so one i added book pages to and the other one i didn't so that's that a lot of this is repetitive but i've just used different papers so here again is that cream um, bit that we folded the three inches over i've added in the the last envelope in there and then I've just taken the little um, sentiment and stuck it onto a scrap of fabric. And I love how that turned out. So you've got a tuck spot there. Well, yes. And then um, another little page ed decoration with scraps and a book page. There you go. And then again, one of these three layers of pockets that we did. I love how those came out with the little fabric bits and lace and goodies. I love all the flowers in here. Uh, these two little um, pockets, I've just put a strip of lace at the back there. Uh, well, it's ribbon, actually. Uh, lacy ribbon. <laughs> Added two tags into them and that there and a little die cut. It was on the tea stain page and I've just put a little bit of stenciling onto that page and that's opposite of writing page again um, here's a little insert that we did as well we put one in each signature this one I've put into the signature not in the middle um, so this is that one there and again with those little pockets where this is sort of keeping it closed so I love that um, and again, exactly the same. I've put 
um, one of the envelopes here again with the hidden paper clip I've just taken two discs and put it over the one side you've seen me this do this before and then that's how it's keeping the envelope in place and then on this one again a scrap of fabric with a little flower on the end all right so we got that lady there another one of these I love these lots to see with those such lovely projects we did together. Makes me smile looking at them. Here's another library card I've added with a Jane Austen sentiment there. So uh, we've just got that there and I've added in a die cut that was in my box. Got to use them up. And then that page, we've got a gorgeous book page there. Love the book pages. That beautiful page. Here's our other center spread. I've added on the little what are these called flag bits there just to where I sewed it in the signature was a bugger to sew in but I persevered um I love how that turned out with the doilies right we're coming to the end here so we've got our book page and the sun is streaming in isn't it lovely spring is trying to make an appearance here so here's the other fabric pocket we did with the paper one on the top. And I love this lace ribbony bits. Here's, I did nothing to this page just because I can. I didn't want to, you know, I've always got to have something that's got nothing done to it. Right, so we, this was the other one of these little envelopes we made together. Love how that came out on this doily. And then here is where I've stuck that other floral uh, triangular pocket and again the other piece of that mini page which I've just backed and um, this little piece of ephemera so that just goes in there and that on top uh, right so here's the other side of that insert with the pocket over there there we go so that lifts up got another tag in there and then this is the other side of that so lovely another little page edge decorative feature there and then we made this envelope which we looked at on the other side as well love that lots to see in this one another one of those little envelope um, scrappy bits that we decorated up together and another little library card I've just added in that die cut there and then coming to the end here here's the book page our little corset pocket love that gotta love a corset pocket just had to go in this one um, and again on this little page that it was just three inches wide with the cream I've put that lace over there and this time I instead of using a mini page I've used a book, um, altered book page, mini page, and stuck that over there. Quite like how that turned out. And that's the last of that. That's the back of it. Right, isn't that loads? Right, I'm sad. It's well, always sad when it's come to an end because I know I won't add anything else to it or work with these pages because I just don't get any time to do anything else with them. Um, and that's sad, but um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you haven't made a start or um, thought about making one of these journals, oh, please do, because they were, it gave me so much joy and really is such a lot of fun. And these colours and took me into the Edwardian era, which I absolutely adore. So, yeah, if you are a fan of writing letters, and vintage ladies then this might be one for you to follow along too all right everyone i am going to wish you well i hope you're enjoying the collaboration if you're not sure what's on please follow follow the link tree it's in my facebook group or on any one of the collaborators um description boxes for their videos and you can see which look at the date and follow along to who, whoever is partaking for that day they've all got a different prompt and sharing the most amazing creations with us um you're wanting to pick up the kits rachel's kits and my kits in our shops 
are available at 40% off. So please be sure to go and pick up a bargain. I will see you very, uh, very soon, probably Tuesday, for another little video. So take good care of yourselves and have fun. Bye-bye.